What's up, guys? This is Zebra here, bringing you a battle that I had later this week during uh, against Glazer or Tornado Survives. So it's a standard, regular match, you know, kind of boring, you know, see it over and over again. So he starts off with Jirachi, and I have my Mothra out. He goes for the U-turn and does nothing, so I go for the safe fire dance. You know, maybe thinking he'd want a calm mind or something, but he just goes for the U-turn and gets out of there and sends in Burning Garu. So... I really have nothing to do against this thing throughout the whole match, so I send in my Mushiana to take the Toxic and set off the Synchronize on it, and you know, it's great to have it Toxic, because we both have lots of HP, and you know, you know, know how that goes, whatever, but you know, we're both Toxic, and you know, we're just like in our party and shit, but um, so we take damage, so uh, he withdraws, and then he sends out his Rachi, as I go for the Calm Mine, and I'm just like, okay, well, I'm Calm Mining, but like, my only attacking move is Psychic, so it's like, Shit. So I can't really do anything. So he tricks me and he gives me his scarf, which even makes my poke even more worthless than it is. Because so I just pretty much made it for stalling, but you know, now it's like choice scarf. But luckily, you know, I went for the psychic and it didn't do anything. So he just U turns and does a good amount of damage. It does like about a third. But, uh, you know, that's fine. So he switches. I'm just like, alright, well, you know, I'm just gonna keep going for Psychic because I'm useless because I have Choice Scarf and I'm poisoned and I'm just like, alright, kill me. Come on. Poison, like, one more hit. You know, you, you'll kill me. But, uh, he decides that he's just gonna be like, lolzy and set up Leech Seed and get some HP back. Well, like, the last 45 HP that I have. Well, after left, he'll probably be like, Oh yeah, no, he gets 45. Okay, so he gets my 45 HP, and I'm just like, you know what, you're an asshole. So I send back in my Mothra, and uh, I go for the butterfly dance, and I didn't think he'd want to stay in, but, you know, there's me over-predicting, like always, so, you know, I get my, uh, you know, I get all my stat boosts, like my special attack and defense, special defense and speed, as he goes for the leech seed, and I'm just like, you asshole. So, uh, he's getting Leech Seed, and, uh, he's pretty much back to full HP, so he just switches out, and he sends in Brewing Garu, which is an asshole. So, I go for the Fire Dance again, and it still, actually does a lot more than it did last time. Oh, wait, no, I got a crit. Okay, of course, of course it's a crit. Whenever I do more, more damage than I thought I'd do, it's always a crit. I guess that's how it goes. So, he's getting lefties, and then, uh, um, yeah, he's getting lefties, and then he's getting, uh, Leech Seed, and he's getting okay. He's not taking a lot of poison damage just because he came out, but I go for the Bug Buzz and it's not doing anything. He goes for the Boiling Water and it's not doing anything, so we're just like, we're just hitting each other and we're just not doing any damage. Uh, he's actually gaining more HP than the damage I'm doing. Actually, no, he's taking more from Leech Seed than he's actually doing to me, so, you know, that's great. So, um, he's pretty much just like a, sta uh, like a s stalemate, I guess. So he goes for the cover just to be more of an asshole. But, you know, I guess that's how it goes. So, um, yeah, so I get le lefties, and then he's going to get the Leech Seed, and, you know, he's going to be pretty much close to full health. And then Toxic is going to hit him, and it's going to do, like, like, like a fifth, or like a sixth, I don't know. But I just had to switch out, and I send him my Ice Foo. As uh, he goes for the Boiling Water, I'm just like, okay, cool, just don't burn me. And he didn't burn me, so that was great. So he gets his lefties. And uh, he takes, he's taking more toxic damage, even though it's like, like I guess like the fifth turn of toxic, he's still not like dying it. So I hit him with a, uh, a life orb payback with max attack, and it still didn't kill it. So I'm just like, crap. So uh, he's gonna die to toxic, and I'm like, hooray! But he poisoned me in the process. I don't know what's with, up with him wanting to poison me. So he goes for the tail glow, and I'm just like, okay, I'm poisoned, and uh, you know. There's not really much I can do, so I'm just going to go for the close combat and just hope it does a lot, and it does do a lot, and I'm just like, yes, okay, Manaphy, you're going down after I die. <laughs> after I die, you are going down. <laughs> so, okay, Ice Food dies, which is sad, but, um, so I send in my, uh, Sanzendora, which I made, this Sanzendora is like the one of the first pokes that I made when Gen 5 came out, and this is probably like the only the second time that I've used it. So I go for a Scarf Draco Meteor just just to take that out. I don't know why I did that. He had like no HP, so I was just like, I could just like Scarf Dragon Falls. But uh, I go for a Scarf Draco Meteor. I get the you know the special attack and attack drop. So I switch out, go into my Mothra as he goes for uh, keeps going for Iron Head, and uh, this time he gets uh, the Flame Body. But I flinch and I'm just like, crap! I could have like you know Fire Dance at least to like kill him, but you know, oh well, I burned him. I guess that's okay. You know, I'd really rather get the 
get the get some useless crit. I'd rather get the fire dance off on that fucking thing and then burn it with that instead of him hitting me and you know activating my flame body, which was gay. I went for the flamethrower just to be safe. Uh, Should have went for Draco Meteor, I guess. I don't know. Predicting the switch, I have no idea. His last two pokes is uh, his last three pokes. I think I think he only has three pokes left. Uh, is the Torre, Infernape, and uh, Jirachi. Which most of them I could have hit for uh, super effective with Fire Blast. So I guess that's why I went for it. So I switched into Arm Fro, not wanting my Senzen Door to take it. So um, I just Death Fodder my uh, Arm Fro, which was depressing. He didn't really get to do anything the whole match. So I go for I go for the Draco Meteor, and it does nothing because it is again it is Jirachi, and Jirachi's a bitch. Even when it's burned, it's still a bitch. But uh, so I switch into my Victini as he goes for the U-turn, which does nothing to me. So I'm like, I have 368 HP, which is great, because the only move on this poke is Life Gamble. But, I really wanted him to bring in his Infernape to take the Life Gamble instead of the Torre. But, so I could hit his last two pokes with Fire Blast, which would be the Jirachi and the Torre, and I could have won. But he brought in the, the Torre, and I was just like, fuck. And then, I missed my Focus Blast, and I'm just like, fuck. And then he tricks me, and I'm just like, you asshole. So, like... Of course he's going to outspeed me now because he's scarfed, so he'll get like at least one iron head off, and it well it does nothing since he's burned. But you know I get the focus blast off this time, and I'm just like okay. It's pretty much game over because Infernape is faster than me, and I'm gonna die. But turns out I'm faster because he had a, a miss sab and put like six IVs in his Infernape, but somehow he still lives. No, well, I guess yeah, he lives the focus blast, and I'm just like fuck, and then I die. And that was a uh, good game, uh, Glazer or Tornado Survives or whatever you're going by. I call you Glazer because your name is Glazer. Uh, that was a really close battle, you know, 1-0. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Um, it was an okay battle. I just, like, grabbed some random pokes like Victini and Sanzendora. <laughs> just because, like, I've only used Sanzendora once, and he's just sitting in the box in the same spot that he's been for, like, the past, like, when did this game come out? September? Well, like the past like three months, he's just been there in that same spot. So I was like, okay, we'll give you some face time. Uh, so yeah, that was it for the battle. Um, uh, there's a link uh, right here uh, to uh, uh, Glazer's channel. Make sure you click that. Uh, he's got like a shitload of subs. He's got like 500 subs. So I'm pretty much everyone who subbed to me is probably subbed to him. But you know, the battles on his video. I mean, my, the battle that I just showed is on his channel, so you can listen to his point of view and you know rewatch that if you want. But, uh, yeah, that's it for today. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed the battle, and uh, maybe I'll have another battle later this week, maybe Friday or Saturday. So, you know, like, I, like always, you can look forward to that. And, um, you know, don't forget to also, there's a link, or like you can see, there's a link to last week's video, which is a really good uh, rotation battle against Mr. Vexicus 466 And you can always check that out also if you haven't watched it. Or, you know, watch it again, because it's that awesome. So, you know... There you go, guys, so I will uh, catch you later. Cheers.